Hello and welcome back to the You Should Know Challenge where we are learning 10 songs in one month. These are songs that every ukulele player should know how to play on their instrument. This is the final video in the challenge, but I do have a next step to do if you're ready to move on to the next step after this song at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Today we're working on two really awesome riffs and what I be mean by riffs is like you're going to do some strumming and picking. So I'm going to teach you that today. We have two of those. Other than that, let's learn the chords that we need for this song. So you're going to need G, B flat. That's the most challenging chord here. If you are having a hard time with B flat, do it on the fifth fret and then work your way back and you'll feel much more comfortable about that B flat. We'll also need D, A7, and C. When we do strum, our strumming pattern is going to be, I'm going to go to a G chord, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we know that strumming pattern already. Down, down, up, up, down, up. There are some times where we're going to have to do uh, just down strums, but we'll get to that when we get there. For riff number one, you're going to hold a G chord and strum, then pick individual string A while you hold that G chord, pick string E, Lift the middle finger from the A string so that you can pick it open, but only the middle finger. And then bring the middle finger back down. When you brought your middle finger down, if you didn't make a sound, go ahead and pick there. So this is the easier version. It's a strum, A, E, open A, and two on A. I'm saying the fret numbers. If you're a little bit more advanced, what you're going to do is called a hammer-on. So when you bring the middle finger down with some speed, you get the sound without, look up, look up, without picking, you get the sound. So that would sound like this for my advanced people. For my intermediate people, if you're gonna pick all of it, it'll sound like this. Both of them, completely work. Now let's learn riff number two. This is a more challenging riff. So for riff number two, I'm going to hold this position. So both my index and ring finger are on C string. Index is on the second fret and ring finger is on the fourth fret. My middle finger is on the third fret of E string. If you need to pause here to imitate my fingers, go ahead and pause here. Here I'm going to use three fingers on the picking hand. Thumb is going to be on C string, index on E, and middle on A. That's how I'm going to do it. When I do this, I'm not pulling out. I am just pushing in gently. We're not looking for a loud sound here, just a nice little gentle sound. So we're going to do four, three, zero, then lift the ring finger, two, three, zero. Now lift the index finger, bring the index finger back to where it was. Then the ring finger is going to go to the third fret of E string, and that makes the middle finger move to the second fret. So you are going to be squeezing here for a bit. And then on the E string, you're going to do three, lift the ring finger off, open it, and C string, you're already in the right position. If that was really confusing, go back to the timestamp I have on the screen now and watch without trying. Watch it without trying like three times and then go back and try it again because we're going to make it easier by watching me play. So figure this part out first. And then come back. Okay, now for the next part, ring finger moves to E string on the third fret. Middle finger moves to E string on the second fret. And I'm going to pick E string with the third fret, then with the second fret, then open. So on E string is three, two, O. Oh. And if you have the index finger on the second fret of C, then you don't have to do anything. So it's E string, E string, E string, C string, C string. So practice this part. 
and again, and again. So repeat that until you can glue together both parts. I'm going to do both parts together right now. Wish me luck. <laughs> Four, three, oh, two, three, oh, oh, three, oh, two, three, oh, then wiggle, move around. Three, two, oh, two. And then we would go back to strumming. So now let's go line by line for the song. So on line one, we would have G, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then the riff one. Then you go to a C chord, down, down, up, up, A7, down, down, up, G chord, and then that riff two. And back to a G chord. So take a second to pause here and work out line one. Let's go to the next line. Line two, here we go. One, two, three, no riff. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. And verse two is exactly like line two as well. So why don't we do a chorus line and a verse line together? One, two, one, two, ready, go. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun and I say it's so to a different part of this song. So that's the part that says sun, 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 here it comes. And again, ready, sun, 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 here it comes. And that's it. So we have B flat. This is not like the friendliest chord. We're gonna do down, down there, and then F, up, up. So down, down, up, up. Okay, so let's try and repeat that a few times. Let's do it four times. One, two, ready, go. B flat, F, F again. B flat, F, two more times. B flat, F, F one more time. B flat, F, F. Now we're gonna do B flat, F, F, C. Okay, let's do that two times. One, two, ready, go. B flat, F, F, C. Let's do that again. One, two, ready, go. B flat, F, F, C. Now let's do four strums on the C. It lands on sun, rest, hear it. Sun, rest, hear it. So let's do sun. One, two, you can do it. One, two, ready, go. Sun, 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 hit. Two more times. One, two, ready, go. Sun, 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 hit. And by the way, if the C strums are uncomfortable, just do two. Sun, 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 here it comes. Our landing chord is G, meaning the phrase resolves on that G chord. Let's try it all together three times. One, two, ready, go. Sun, 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 here it comes. Again, ready, go. Sun, 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 here it comes. Again, go. Sun, Now, if you are here, you have completed all of the tutorials for the You Should Know Challenge. So 
pat yourself on the back that is a big accomplishment just showing up here trying to improve on your skills trying to grow as a musician so yeah 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 my friend abby lyons has made the play along so that you can play along to her singing this um you can change the speed of any youtube video by clicking the gear icon so i recommend that you start it at like a slower speed and eventually get to where you can play with her at the right tempo and now i'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video and your music i am playing the enya eutms so that means that this is a tenor ukulele with solid mahogany it is beautiful it comes with like a stained blue option as well i love these orange tuners and the cherry blossom inlay on the headstock is also really beautiful so i highly recommend this ukulele it's really nice sounding i love those floral carbon strings as well i will link it down below if you are interested in a solid mahogany ukulele that's a really good price and that has pre-installed strap buttons if you have this ukulele let us know what you think about it in the comments below too because your reviews are the best reviews. I have a friend named Gaby and she is so incredibly talented at chord melody ukulele. So chord melody ukulele is where the ukulele does the melody, like what you would be singing, and the strumming all together. It's fused together so that you don't have to sing. The ukulele does the singing for you. So it's called chord melody. And Gaby is so talented at making chord melody arrangements. So she's made an arrangement for every single song in this challenge. So if you're done learning all of the strumming parts, I'm going to challenge you to head over to her page. I'm going to link her down below as well and get going on the chord melody or whenever you are ready, once you finish the challenge, head over to Gaby's page and learn the chord melody parts. They're really, really, really beautiful. Some are a lot more challenging than others, but for sure, for sure, do you are my sunshine. I'm gonna show a clip of it right here so that you can see the difficulty level. joining me on this challenge on this journey i hope you had fun and thank you for choosing me as your teacher i'll see you in the next challenge ciao